Whoa. Thank you for the raid. I did uh, not expect that. Just starting a stream over here. Thank you. I think that was Alexandra doing a raiding challenge. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Eric. I'm in the middle of a speed run right now. We're doing C6 against everything is black. And playing F4 is white, the bird's opening. So uh, if you still have some chess energy, make yourselves at home over here. Because we're just, just starting out. Okay. Yeah, thank you for the raid, Alexandra. We're gonna gonna play some blitz now. Hey, Tim, Alex at twenty five hundred bullet. She had the face on. She has that kind of. She had the face on the try hard, Alexandra mode, and I'm not too surprised. She had the face where she's also capable of some very dirty flagging, just a very like, just a very focused face, like where you're grinding, fully grinding. Just ready to make some dirty moves. It's just a look. Some people have it. I'm not going to back down. It's a good look. It's a try hard look. As streamers, you need different modes for the type of content you're trying to produce. Hey, Mad Physicist, Zarthus, thank you for the five gifted subs. And Caspian, thank you for the, uh, thanks for sticking around. And Alexandra, thanks for the 64 months, it's a lucky number, maybe. Yeah, I'm playing some liquid drum and bass, mixing, mixing things up. It'll be chill, it'll be a chill session. No, I don't have friends, uh, Diplio. I have paid friends on Twitch. That's the extent. Alrighty. So I'm at a thousand rating and I'm about to begin. Just gonna give some blitz commentary and go through a few common plans and structures. If you haven't checked out our speedruns on YouTube, it might be worth a shot. But I'll let you decide. We're going to start, though. Alrighty. First bird game of the day. Don't see F5 as a response that often. Hopefully, they don't copy all the moves. All right. I'll just castle quickly. Now I have to figure out what kind of plan we want to pursue. I kind of want this bishop to go to b7 because then I'm going to go like knight, knight g5. Can you? Yeah, let's try knight g5 and see if we can just go for an easy fork early on. That's a good move. But I had to test my opponent. Check. You can go you can go d5. My idea behind d5 is then black is weakening their control over the e5 square. So I wasted a move, but I also weakened black's positions. Thought it was ah. I thought it was a, a good trade-off. Here, I see. You want to go d4 and open up an attack here. All right, I'm going to stop that. What's my bullet rating? My rating can be whatever you want. Whatever you want. You want me to play like a 3,000? I'll play like a 3,000. You want me to play like a 300? I'll play like a 300. It's, it shifts.
I just blundered. Nah, nah, we'll make it work. I have to watch out for this. That's not it. That's not it. Black has the right idea, but the wrong execution. Because when they take this and then go d4, what they probably don't realize is my queen now defends g2. Or now they realize, but it's a little late. All right. Let's go knight b5. I want to go knight d4 and then fork on e6. It was the right idea, just wrong execution. And now, now we're good. Knight e6 check wins an exchange, and if you want to play that, by all means play it. It's a good move. But winning an, ex an exchange doesn't excite me anymore. I need to go for, like, discovered checks. Checkmates. Just stronger moves. Or at least with a higher ceiling. They, they, they saw it, but I, we still have our check. We look for better. Okay, let me cash those chips in. I'm up a rook right now. So, going to start initiating some trades. Which means I don't mind taking here, I believe. Sure, let's take. And now I have a fun move. I'm going to go check. And if bishop here... Okay. I was going to just give my queen up and trade everything off. There's a lot of tempting moves here. Knight f7 is probably the simplest. So I'll play it. Knight f7 check. And then bring the rook in. This is not checkmate. The knight covers. Let's bring the rook in. Good game. Good game. Diplio, thanks for the 11 months. Scoops. Alrighty. I got aborted. That's the first. C6 versus everything. Here we go. We're usually pretty happy when white exchanges. Doesn't put a lot of pressure on the position. I want to develop this bishop most likely. The reason I'm hesi hesitant to play a move like bishop g4 is queen b3. And then they're kind of attacking two different squares. I'm going to start with e5. Grab the center. What could go wrong? Yep. Probably just devolve my bishop to g4. Okay, that's a move. That's definitely a move. Castle. See, that, that's what I thought they might do. They just try to gang up on that pawn. But I think instead of trying to defend this pawn by going bishop e6, I can also defend it by pinning this knight. As long as the king is on e1. Okay, now this is hanging again, but I'm willing to give up my bishop just to alleviate some of the pressure. Okay, now this is defended enough. I'm going to go knight a5. Kick the queen out. So even though white has the bishop pair, this bishop right now is kind of aimed at a pretty well-defended pawn. I need to just make sure the queen 
goes away. As long as d5 is stable, then e4 is stable, and then this bishop is restricted. So we're fighting over that. Gonna go rook, rook c8. That's a semi-open file. Oh, knight c4 is asking to be played now. Really? But isn't this hanging, sir? It is hanging. I can take the piece, but I'm going to play rook c7 first. Because the queen has nowhere to go on the board that can defend this bishop. So I'm going to actually throw this move in and then take. To be very accurate. Yeah. Knight d2 is my next move. The queen can go here, can go here, here, here. But no matter what, it can't go to a square that defends the bishop on d2. So I think we're pretty happy with that outcome. And now I could move back, but I'm up a piece. So how about we go knight f3 check? Initiate some trades and also start putting some pressure on white's king maybe. Because they might, they might have to give up this bishop. And now we have a pretty annoying pawn here. One thing I'm thinking about is if I can get my queen here after kicking away this knight, might have some mating ideas. We'll see. That's a good looking move. Putting pressure here. I'm going to go bishop f5. Now my queen is added as a defender to d5. Rook b1. I mean, I'm just going to have to take that. Alrighty. So my pawn on f3 is not there for no reason. This restricts white's king. There's some back rank ideas. So let me ask the audience. Black to play and play and find a very strong move here. Black to play and find a very strong move. It relates to... The back rank. Well done. Well done. Rook b7. Hanging the rook. All the pieces are hanging, but the goal is checkmate. Or winning the queen. So. White had to pick two. Two bad outcomes. And now we're just up a queen. There we go. Good game. Uh, Zolthus, JHXV, and Aslan. Thanks for the subs. Hope that made sense. If white trades queens, we can throw in checkmate. What about queen b8? What, what are you threatening with queen b8? Like, what if your opponent says, hey, thank you for the queen? And I take, and then they just... Let's say make a move, make sure their back rank is covered. It's not about getting back with the queen, it's about making space for the king. Yeah. Yeah.
All righty. Here we go. E6 and E6, hey? That's not too confrontational. I think I'm going to grab the center. Aha. Putting some pressure on, huh? I'm going to make a funny looking move. I'm going to go bishop d3. I'm defending the pawn still. Queen e2. Making sure I'm accounting for bishop takes knight. And now, now it's time for the fun stuff. This is something that also might uh, be available a little more in the bird than other openings. You can guess what I'm setting up here as white. I got something coming though, that's for sure. First, black has to deal with this knight that's hanging. Uh, check. If you thought I was playing that, you are correct. Check. So I'm winning at least a pawn and weakening black's king, but I'm... I'm looking for more. I'm definitely looking for more. I mean, it's tempting for me to throw this move in just to see if they forget that this is checkmate, but there, there's too much risk. I'll take, I'll just take my knight. Take the material back. That's a good move. I can get knight g5 in next move though. I uh, once again am threatening checkmate. If I can get knight g5, I'm threatening checkmate on h7, right? And I don't really have this bishop, even if I develop, it doesn't really have anywhere too ambitious to go. So I think my most effective attacking piece is this knight. I'm playing black, I probably have to go g6, just so the queen starts covering. Okay, but we're up a pawn. Could be worse. Good move, good move. Let me go a3, see what you decide to do here. If you take here, I'll take with the pawn so my bishop develops. I'm gonna go bishop e3, queen side castle. Don't want to castle king side because I want to attack on the king side. Well, I think I'm just going to queen side castle now. I'd love to sack the rook and go for checkmate, but the queen's still covering mate, so I have to... I'm going to play something else. I'm going to go rook d6. Just grab, grab the square. Okay, buddy couple questions first if i go c4 where is your knight headed because if you have to go all the way back that's not a good sign then i can even take this pawn but i'm thinking about going queen h6 next move queen h6 because oh well that is defended by my bishop right yep there we go. That's a kamikaze move. I think I can take it. Am I missing something? Don't think so. Let's grab that. And now uh, let's attack the base of black's position. The pawn on d7. There we go. There we go. Check. Check. 
Alrighty. White to move. You could take here, but let's make it smoother. The queen can now take the rook because black's king is in the way of the rooks protecting each other. So good job. Yay. Checkmate. In the meantime, QB zone, 16 months. Doctor unbuilt character, 9 months with prime. Jav bandit snuck in 50 subs during that game. Didn't really sneak it in. That, that supports a lot of the people that aren't subbed and most importantly helps us with our content. So thank you, Jav bandit Thank you for the 50 bomb. How's your Saturday? Sunday, sorry. Time is going by fast. I'm almost 31. I'm going to Norway tomorrow. Oof. Holy smokes. Java Banda, thanks for the 50 subs. Happy, uh, happy Sunday. You're up 200 ELO with a stone wall. You guys have to cover E4 though. E4 is black or E4 is white? Because I'm covering E4 as black with the Karo. I'm playing the C6. Am I meeting Alex 14? Maybe. Uh, but Java Bandit, I'm playing the Karo as black in this one. Yeah. Which is easier than the French. Yeah. Going to Norway to meet some Norwegian guys. Hopefully get a passport. You know. Stay in their country. The usual. Am I going to play chess? I might play chess. That's a big might, you know? Maybe. There's a chess bar in Norway. And I've been known to attend it from time to time. I think you'll like the black side of the Karo Java Bandit. And I actually think um, it's one of the easier to easier systems to play. I think you'll like what I what I've been doing for practical use cases. Advanced variation is what I've been facing, and uh, you should get a consistent setup. I started this at 400, so we're at 1,000 right now, and the first two episodes, or even right now, will be quite applicable for Java Bandits reading. So that'll be good. Lil Pawn names Joe. All right. See how they handle the Carol can. The fantasy variation. There's a few different setups here. We're gonna we're gonna try different ones. Um, there's some that are more theoretical, some that are less. One of the responses is just pawn to e6, and it transposes more to like a French. Structure. You may like it, you might not. I'll try different setups. But I'm not going to take here yet. I don't want to make life too easy for this knight to develop. So I'm actually going to go knight h6. I want to go knight f5. And I'm not worried about... Capturing a double pawns aren't that bad because I get the bishop here, but B they take I have queen h4 check, so it's not really a bad bad pawn structure. Queen h4 check. There's bishop f2, so I'm not that excited yet. But now I'm preparing bishop h4. Well, I'll take that. If I take that's a free pawn because my queen defends, so why not? Check.
check. Now you lose casting privileges. What's a nice move for black here? Look for an annoying move. As Carol can players, you have to be good pawn grabbers. You have to notice weak pawns, loose pawns, stuff like that. Queen b6 or taking and then queen b6 came to mind because we're technically attacking two pawns, b2, but also d4 because we have more attackers than white has defenders. And it's not really a very risky or ambitious move. It's not like we're leaving our king wide open or something. But either queen b6 right away or taking first. Especially with the king here. Because there's also a, a diagonal that we might want to exploit. My opponent has disconnected. They will auto-resign in 10 seconds. That's no fun. No, come back. Well. A win is a win. It is a really good position. For example, let's say you go knight e2 as white. I'm just going to take here. White's probably going to recapture the pawn. And because of the king position, we can actually play knight takes c5. Because this pawn is pinned. So then I'd be up two pawns. Pretty, pretty cozy. Factfulness. Good luck, sir. The hillbilly attack. We haven't faced too many problems with this opening. Just get that knight out. Bring this knight out. They're playing habits. H3, I get it. Is it time? You know what? I'm going to copy you. I'll play H6. And now I'm going to grab the center since it's available. Maybe play bishop d6, bishop e6, castle. Things are pretty comfortable, I think. Yeah, what happens if we castle? Okay. Now we're developed. I don't really get knight h2, but they played it quickly. I'm tempted to play d4. I'm kind of calculating that. d4 hits this bishop and also our bishops are then attacking each other. GG, Kudi. Uh, GG, buddy. Um, I'm going to go d4. Because it looks like here, this is a, considered a good trade. Why is it a good trade? Because I messed up white's pawns. They have doubled b pawns, and now their d3 pawn is isolated. So the quality of their pawn structure definitely dropped there. And I'm going to go a5 as well, just to restrict these pawns. You want to trade? I think I have a better position, so I don't mind trading. Yeah. Let's start pushing these pawns. This knight hasn't developed. This bishop's awkward over there. What happens if we just um, start pushing our pawns in the middle? Like this. But I thought I was defending that. I thought the whole point of playing a5 was that black was preventing white from playing b4. So what does my opponent see here? Is this pawn is pinned? Now my rook is active. And that's a free pawn, right? Yeah, okay, yep. So I'm up a pawn. I really like how open some of these pieces are. Let's play queen h4. My opponent's playing fast. That's their strategy. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can do here. Bring the rook into the game. I don't want to hang any of my pieces. Let's tuck this bishop in.
I'm thinking about playing d3 so I can bring my knight to d4 and then drive it into like the e2 square, for example. This looks tempting. I can get this move in. I'm going to try a bit of a crazy move here. Don't laugh. I'm going to go rook f3. I'm hoping white takes, then I'm going to take on h3. My goal is checkmate. I'm just going for checkmate. Playing some risky moves. But do they work? Let's find out. Let's take here. And then I want a rook lift. Bring the last rook in while all of white's pieces are on the queen side. The queen's over here. I'm going for checkmate. Wish me luck. My next move is rook e6, rook g6. I'm going for checkmate. They're going to take, then I'm going to go rook e6. What are they thinking about? I am threatening checkmate on h1. I think you have to take. They disconnected. What's going on here? I'm losing all my opponents. Hey, right before the good stuff, rookie six. And I don't see how to stop checkmate. Rookie six is a nice move, preparing rook g6. If they move out of the way, then I'll take. The reason I want rookie six first is if I take, I wasn't sure about f4. I think this is still winning because I can simply uh, umpassant and I'm threatening mate. And after here, same thing. So I think it's still winning with queen h3 or rook e6. But we'll never get to see it. Oh well. Canadian rock fan, welcome back for 33 months. QB zone, 16 months. Yeah, I don't see a move. I don't know about you guys. The rook lift is pretty strong. <laughs> we'll try again. Hopefully my opponents stick around. Peruser, good luck. C6 versus everything. F3. I don't quite understand that move, so I'm just going to... Uh-huh. I think I know what this is. I think this is a, a gambit opening, where you go knight c3 now. Otherwise, my opponent's just hanging upon. Eh, either way. I'll accept. And what if I take this? So I'm two pawns up now. What happens? Wow. Okay, I'm going to move back. Just e6 next move. Close everything up around the king. And uh, I don't know. I don't see two pawns worth of compensation for me. For, for white, I mean. And their position has a... That's a bad-looking structure. Let's go bishop d6.
When you're up two pawns, just get castled. Then you can start thinking. There we go. I want them to go bishop d3. They didn't go bishop d3. Now, I said we should castle before thinking, because otherwise, now that we've castled, you're allowed to think. And if you're allowed to think here, can you guess what I want to play? Now we're castled, our pieces are developed, now we can look for really good moves. Yeah, I would also resign as white. If you see what the next move is, you might also resign. Now b5 would be great. It attacks the queen, and the queen can't go d3 because of my bishop. Problem with b5 is c6 is hanging. c6 hangs, so their queen does escape. And they pick up a pawn. So let's improve that. And that's by playing knight from d7 right over to b6. And then asking, where are you going to put the queen on c4? Where's this queen going? And all... While this is all happening, like, black's under no pressure. So, it's not even like we had to get through a tough opening. And there's the queen. Thank you very much. I'll play h6, just some good habits, give my king some breathing room. And now we just want to trade pieces. So let's start offering trades. Good move. I'm looking for trades, that's it. I'll even go back just to try to trade. Avoiding trades. Okay, well, you're not going to be able to refuse this. Pawn to c5. One way or another, we're trading those pawns off. There we go. I'm looking at my queen and their bishop on d3. Hopefully we have some sort of discovery on this bishop. How about knight e3? Attacking the bishop, also attacking the rook. That should force some exchanges, yep. Think I can grab this. I can take the rook, but I'm going to throw in a check first. Because that king looks like it's uh, struggling. And I could take this, but I'm looking for a more fancy checkmate. So I'm going to go knight g4. And my goal is not to take here. I have a different incentive here not a very nice incentive Oof. and there's the checkmate knight f2 smothered just in time for tim cannon's very generous hundred dollar donation good evening tim i like the move because this rook was pinned anyways if you move the rook somewhere then i do have checkmate on g1 so, Lord of the Quadrangles, thanks to the Prime. What's happening with Blow Deck? I haven't started anything new yet. It's seasonal. Kaziashin, that's a familiar name. Good luck. All right, we got our bird. Let's go d3 and try to just immediately grab some space. This should be two. Go for a quick castle, have our sturdy center. And now we transfer the queen over to the king side. There's some attacking chances you're going to like. I'm going to go c3 just to take away a couple squares. Now we have queen h4. h5, you know, takes away some squares, but it also weakens g5. So I'm going to play knight g5 now. And you know what? 
What if I just start attacking? This pawn is pinned, it's checkmate otherwise. You could take, but I'm gonna use this quick, quick development and just attack on the king side. Okay. It looks like maybe I'm playing aggressively in front of my king, but none of black's pieces are are close to my king. So I don't consider it as risky. And now we just have a winning position. How do you stop checkmate? Just quick quick queen push to the king side and uh profit. The only move I see is rook here. It does prevent immediate checkmate. But I have another move if you play there. So after check, the king goes here and I don't see a follow-up. But this pawn is loose. So I think my plan is going to be a little different. The hard part's not seeing that this is a hanging pawn and a check. But the real question is, what's my next move going to be? After king h8, we need to throw more... Uh, Throw more ammo in. Because I don't know if the queen and knight can checkmate the king on their own. So how do we uh, improve our attacking potential? Well done, Tim Cannon. Rook f3. I like that suggestion. Just want to use that open h file and swing the rook over. Knight here looking, looking to get over there. I got it gonna give the check anyways they block now what let's finish the masterpiece tim tim says checkmate in two that's correct remove the defender so that we can access another checkmate rook takes h6 the bishop has to recapture and then when the bishop moves it makes the h7 square available so we get rid of the knight and now just slide over is that checkmate on h7 is there anything to stop it doesn't look like it looks good to me nice that was that was a good bird that was like very efficient we didn't even have to use half our pieces very thematic Alrighty, let's try that again. Let's try that again. I'll, I'll grab the center here. And then I'll go d4, three pawn attack. I might be going d5 next move and uh, cramping black's position. Let me grab. Okay, we've traded in the middle, but I think I have a bit more space. I can block with the queen or I can play g3 and I'm just gonna go g3. Stabilizing. Let's develop that knight. Do we castle queen side or king side? That's a good question. Maybe maybe queen side this time. Now that our queen's developed early. And then queen side castle, yes. I'd like to go e5 and do something on the d file, but I don't quite see the line yet. So I'm gonna go h3 first. Prepare g4. Let's move the queen out of the way. Wait a second. So black wants to go bishop c6. So I can go g4, bishop c6, g5. But what if I go e5? And then if they take and I take, they have a hanging knight 
on f6 and potentially a hanging bishop on d7 because the knight's the defender of that bishop the second defender yeah works out that's how we use the d file queen takes bishop queen takes queen rook takes queen i'm up a piece checks out And we have more material as well. This bishop doesn't have any squares. So you go here, I can just snap this off. Everything falls, eh? All falls down at once. I think I'm just going to take the free bishop, sir. Thank you. Now the knight can't move. I'll take this pawn as well. Cheers. I think I'll take this pawn and develop at the same time. Thank you. Good game. Eddie's wondering, Eric, what would happen after e5, bishop, c6? Well, the endgame magician, I would just take the knight on f6. And after bishop takes rook, I'm going to take the bishop on e7. And after queen e7, I have two pieces for the rook. That should be extremely favorable. Some continuation after this, but two pieces for the rook is uh, a plus trade here. Not over, the game's not over, but it would definitely yield white an advantage. Murkush, good luck. Here's our setup, okay. I get to develop the bishop to a nice square. Queen b3, hitting this early. So I got a couple options, queen c7, queen b6, pawn b6, queen c8. I think I'm going to go queen c7. Just not to weaken my pawns. I don't want to lose my bishop for free. So let's make uh, white work for it. They're going to do this. I go bishop g6, but they've weakened their king side a bit. Like I can even go bishop g4 now. And I don't think you're trapping my bishop. I think my bishop is okay here. Oh, okay. That's, that's a good way of getting the bishop out. It's not hanging the queen. As far as I can tell, white's playing pretty aggressively, but I'm not suffering at all in terms of my structure. I don't mind trading, and at the end of this, I'm expecting to have a much safer position than white because I haven't I haven't pushed my pawns recklessly like over here. Well, that doesn't seem like it works. I can take back with a bishop or I can move my knight. Either way I'm up a uh, up a piece, hey. Sure. Yeah, now now I get to keep my extra piece. That's a good trade. As, as Carol players, we have to be good at picking up free pawns. This is a free pawn. I'm going to eat it. Move back. And now I can move my knight anywhere on the board and attack the queen. Here, 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 here. E3 I can't do. E3, the queen can capture. So I'm going to go right there. That looks annoying. With the... No, we... 
Tick. I thought they're gonna take with the king so they could defend the knight, but uh, looks like yeah, they're not gonna get the second second piece up. Now let's move back. Can't take here because the queen defends. My bishop might be kicked around a little bit, but we're up two bishops. I could even lose one and still be comfortably ahead. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna protect them. Treat the bishops with respect. I'll even go all the way back, go e6, get this bishop out. Oh. Is this pawn hanging? Pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Looks good to me. I have a very generous opponent. And I'm excited to trade the queens. Take with a pawn here. Make an outpost. And now we're just going to queenside castle. Thank you very much. I'm looking to set up a checkmate. I'm looking to set up a checkmate. So I'm cutting off both of the king's files right now. Check. I see checkmate. I spy with my little eye. A bad ending for white. Check. If I give a check, the king can go here. If I give a check, the king can go here. Let's give this check first. There's a few different checkmates. I'm just trying to play something nice. Check. There we go. All righty. Will you walk, Pleafers and Black Lotus? Thanks for the subs. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Chicken Pants. Es Camilla. All right. This is a Slav defense. Usually we take back with a pawn, then our knight can develop. Sometimes you develop the bishop, but in the Slav, which is against d4, I'm always concerned if I develop my bishop early that queen b3 comes. So I'm going to develop the knight first, just add on a little more protection to d5, and now I'll go bishop g4. This has a reputation of being a very solid opening for white. It's hard to crack. It's symmetrical. But there could be a difference. Our bishop can develop. Their bishop is stuck behind e3. So I'd like to think there should be some benefits from that. Okay, queen a4. They're putting some pressure on this knight. So let me go rook c8 first. Overprotect. In case any pin pressure comes along, I have uh, ample defense. And now we'll go bishop d6. Watchful eye on this diagonal. And yeah, blacks emerge from the opening. A very comfortable position. Take. Do I want to give up my bishop? Maybe. Yeah, what happens if I trade? I can't take the pawn because I'm pinned, but if I go knight d7, if white has to go f4, then they're really weakening some squares around uh, some of the light squares. f4 defends the pawn. Okay, that does not defend the pawn. Now I can just take. Recapture with the other knight. 
and we're just up a pawn. And everything is very solid. Right? Maybe they're going b5. That could be a little annoying. Okay, I'll go a6 first. Hitting this pawn. Let's castle. Take care of that threat. Move my queen off the back rank. I'm also hitting this. Maybe it'll be a free pawn. We'll see. A6 probably have to take. But yeah, if you're just up a pawn like this, well, now I'm up two pawns. Just trade, trade an endgame. I'm wanna, I want to figure out a way to trade the rooks. That might start with knight e7. So now the rooks are touching. Yeah, but I can take your queen. I'm not going to take the rook. A, that hangs checkmate. B, that hangs my queen. But if I throw this in, and then I take a rook, then I'm just up a rook, plus the extra pawns. Now we're going to trade, trade off that rook on f1. Nice. Nice. I'll be right back. I'm going to put on the uh, hockey game in our Discord, and then I'll be right back. We're one sub away from 69. That's that's a good start. Thanks, Java, for that uh, 50 bomb earlier once again. Young Virgin. Hey, you're among friends here. Good luck. Being a virgin usually means you have more time to study chess, so you're more dangerous. Let's see how you handle the Carol Can. Let's develop this bishop. And then we go e6, go for our trust the triangle setup. Now we can develop the rest of the piece. I'm actually tempted to actually put both bishops out. Okay, let's do the math. If I take, they take, I take. That looks good to me. Looks like I win a pawn. And I'm, the Carol Can speedrun's all about grabbing pawns. All about grabbing free pawns. So I'll take, we've traded off two pairs of pieces, but I'm up a pawn, not going to complain. I'm going to try another move here, queen d5. 
I might want a queenside castle, but my other idea is I've wanted to take the pawn. And he actually noticed that, unfortunately. Let me let me double check that. Let's go push. At least the bishop moved away so my queen has this a5 square. But I was thinking about playing knight d7, queenside castling. I have to figure out what to do. Kingside castling is objectively probably safe. I shouldn't be too concerned about it. Okay, well first we'll take. Now we have the A-file. Oh, you're not gonna recapture. Okay, I'll castle. I'm guessing white really wants to play G4. I'm not gonna stop them. It'll only weaken my king side. I'm gonna just harass the queen side. That's a good looking move. I don't wanna take because that opens up the H file. So let's just bring that other knight in. We're not gonna take, but I can take this pawn without serious repercussions. Okay, I see something that I, I just have to play. Forgive me. If I take here, the queen takes, then I play pawn c3, and I don't even need to calculate further, because that looks extremely hard to deal with. I'm attacking the bishop, and if that bishop is a goner, then a3 is a goner. And I don't see what attack white can drum up on the king side in the meantime. If queen b1, I'm going to go queen g5 check. I was kind of hoping that was going to be played. Queen g5 is a mating net. Didn't get the chance, but this move doesn't disturb me. Queen check. And now, not queen c2, it's covered. This rook is going to join. That's a hanging pawn, and we're threatening mate. There we go. Good game to Young Virgin. Got a few more subs there. Katonka, 29 months. Wild Hacks, that's a prime, 31 months. Benja the Min with a thousand bits. And Chicken Pan, thanks for the gifted sub. All right, I get to move the, uh, move the sub goal up a little bit. T Fox, thanks for the sub. Thank you. Just working our way through the speed run, just an honest living. Sure, buddy guy, thanks for the prime. Andre Maya, alrighty, let's go F4. Yeah, F5 is not the most common response, but it's already occurred a couple of times. I'll stick with knight F3. And now I'll go for the fianchetto again. You're copying me. Okay. I'll deviate. Bit of a stone wall set up. I'll go bishop b5. This is a good bishop. Now we get to castle. I don't mind losing this bishop. This is my really good bishop. Because where if I if I want to keep the bishop, I can go bishop d3, blocks my pawn, not a big fan. Bishop b2, not the end of the world. I just don't value it that much. So I'll I'll trade and then put an knight on e5. They're defending this, which is a good idea. 
Let me go d3, take away this option for black. And now I need to remember to develop this knight. I was going to say I'm going to recycle it, but this helps. Because I have two attackers, there's only one defender for black. So That's a pawn up. Yep, let's develop this knight. Well, that helps. That helps. What can I say? Did not expect to see that move. This bishop being ready. Uh, we're going to take that rook. Thank you, sir. And now I'm just going to move my bishop back. Place it on a nice outpost. Bring the knight in. Maybe even a queen trade now that we're up a rook. Yeah, let me offer a queen trade. Because I'm a nice guy. Uh, I'll take with a pawn. This way I can use the open F file. See the difference? I could have taken with a knight, but oh, I like the f-file. And the knight on e5 is an outpost. Can't imagine black's going to survive much longer. This bishop is stuck behind its own pawn, and the rook doesn't have any files to use, so... It's, uh, it's going to be hard for black to come up with any counterplay. Quality of the pieces is just not high. But we're going to move our rook. Let's move it all the way down the board. This way... A rook on a1 can join. I'm just going to play out of habits. Trade when I'm up a rook. And now we're going to go probably rook f8. Resignation. GG. This is for 1100. Good luck, Ryan P. When I see the knight on c6, I sometimes play e3 because I I am looking at this pin. It's not the end of the world. But one benefit of the bird is sometimes you can castle like really fast. And let's see how black deals with this. They have the bishop pair, but they're going to be a bit behind in development. I'm going to grab the space while I, while I can. Yeah, I'll even go c4. That way I can go knight c3. b4, a4, attack. It looks a little cramped here. A lot of pieces, not a lot of space. Okay, first. I can't go d4 because this hangs, eh? We'll have other moves. I'm going to play one move I like to play, and in the bird's opening, it's fairly standard. It's king h1, just to always make sure we're off the diagonal. It's a prophylactic move, but it's useful. Knight e5, queen e8 is tempting to look at. e5 right away is tempting. Why not knight e5? I mean, it's attacking all of black's pieces right away. They could go queen d6 and blunder everything, or they could go queen e8. That also not the move I was concerned about because now if I take on c6, I mess up their pawns. And that just can't be a bad thing. The pawn's in front of the king. Maybe queen a4.
E5 could also be played first, though, hey? Just to uh, dislodge this knight. Okay, but first, I'm going to take, because I want to open up as many files as I can near Black's King. So this way, when I put a rook on C1, I have some potential. Now I'm thinking knight a4, move this bishop, rook c1. Yep, knight a4. Move this bishop, then rook c1. I could develop my queen, but I want to make sure I develop my other pieces too. Let's let's prepare this uh, rook c1 move. That's a move. I have to move my bishop. Let's move over here. You're attacking that. I can't go queen f3 because this hangs. So I'm going to go queen c2. Defending d3, also defending a4. Still preparing rook c1. There we go. That's what I wanted to see because takes, takes, takes. The C file is useful. And my next move is probably going to be rook C1 or queen takes A6 check. I'm not distracted by this knight because I can threaten maiden one. And ignore it. I, and now, this is a very important tempo that I just gained. Because after knight b6, queen b6, queen b6, it's actually pinned. So either they lose their queen or it's checkmate. Just by throw, inserting rook c1. All right. Well, I see a checkmate, and I'm going to play a checkmate. Queen a8, looks like mate. Just double checking, looks good. There we go. GG, that's 1100. Uh, Shizno Ninja, Chrome JS10, and LOL Timmy. Three Twitch Primes back to back to back. Thank you. Thank you. Two goals in the game already, eh? It's 1 1. I'm betting on Vegas tonight. Oh, it's 2-1. Oof. One moment. If you're new here, this is a speed run. Uh, the bird episode one came out on YouTube on Saturday. Next one is going to be next Saturday. But if you're watching on Twitch, you're ahead. And if you miss the VODs, you can check them out on YouTube as well. Now we're in the 1100s. Let's see if the resistance goes up. I'll go for the Fiancato. There we go. 
They're, they're playing a solid setup. Okay, let's go e3. I just don't know where to put this bishop. I'm not going to go here, not going to go here. Don't want to block the pawn, so I'm also going to land on the e2 square. There was a knight on c6, maybe I could harass it. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe they want to trade. I might have to let them. Is that the idea? Okay, I got a question. Where is this knight going? Why can't I attack it? I can. That's good. I'm thinking about playing d4, but what I don't like about d4 is one, it blocks my bishop. Two, the e3 pawn is weak, and they can when they go knight g4. The weak pawn is the main issue. Let me try knight e5. That way I can maybe open up the f file and open up this bishop. I'm going to take with a pawn and then d3. Okay. Let's transfer the queen over to the king side. We've done that before. And if I want this to happen, I want to see this uh, exchange. In fact, if I can get rid of this knight, I have some checkmate ideas. The problem, if I take, they take with the bishop, they're hitting my queen. But if I play h4 first, then they move their knight, and then I take, they don't have time to take back with their bishop. Well, what's that move? Isn't that a free knight? Am I missing something? Yeah, you can move. I'll just move my king out of the way. Okay. This is a... Th is it a threat? No, because I'm threatening my own stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is the bishop. There we go. I think we landed on a square. Checkmate. Good stuff. Morty. Good luck. Haven't seen this setup before. Not too impressed, because it just blocks your knight. I'll go for the traditional setup. Gankadoing. And then... D3. Try to play for E4. Yeah, we'll go for we'll play e4. This is a good move because I was thinking about pinning, but it's been prevented skillfully. So I have this like setup with my pawns on e4 and f4, but I don't really know how to push the pawns. Got to think about it. I'm going to make a, a waiting move. I don't mind king h1. I want to consider b4. Okay, here, let's take with a knight. Hitting this bishop. And if they take, I take with a queen. Okay. But now I get to play b4. That was why I wanted to play a3. Maybe open up the file. Let's go. Queen takes. Now I got some ideas on the long diagonal. Yeah, what if I go b5 now and try to open things up for my queen and bishop? Form a battery. Attack this.
You can move there. But if I just move my queen out of the way and attack your knight, I don't think good things are going to happen. Yasser says, how long is it, Eric? The diagonal, I mean. Uh, the diagonal, uh, it's going to reach pretty far, Yasser, from g2 all the way to a8. All the way to a8. Thanks for asking. Let's take. Take. And then 95. I'm going to I'm going to expand the diagonal. I'm going to expand the diagonal. Like that. And now rook here. Threatening checkmate. Excellent. Is that checkmate? Knight defends. King can't move. Oh, they resign. Checkmate anyways. 24 howlers. Thank you for the prime. A hey, Chef Long Pep. A hey, Yasser, A hey, Sigmunder, Mandy Singh, Bagels. Legendary Pred. Okay. C6 first everything. I'm going to try a move here. Bishop g4. See, see how they respond. Queen b3 is probably a good response, but I didn't think they were going to play it. And we just solved one of the opening problems, what to do with your bishop. And this bishop's a bit easier to develop, because it's outside. It's, we've got pawns on light squares, so the bishop can maneuver around the pawns pretty comfortably. Let's go bishop there. Just castle. I'm thinking about playing b6, though. I can keep the pin, then b4, keep this. But what if I trade? I don't, I'm not that impressed by this bishop. Oh, even, even less so now. Takes. Double pawns, let's develop, and attack. Thank you for the pawn. Now we're up a pawn and pretty happy. Now it's time to bring the rooks in the game. Rook c8. That's going to be a file that we're going to be fighting on. So let's move the queen off the back rank so this rook can also join. And I'm a boring guy. I'll also play h6. Good habits. Cover the back rank. Take away a square. Knight e5 is a good move. That's an improvement of the knight. I'm going to put my rooks behind the knight on c5. Add some extra security. Just a safe move. Like that. They're copying me. They're doing the same. That's a good idea. Okie dokie. Well, let me, let me ask. If I go here... Are you willing to trade? Can we do some business? Because if we trade everything off, I'll be playing an endgame up a pawn, and uh, 
I gotta like my chances here. That's a clean pawn up. No strings attached. That's a good move. But I'm a pawn grabber. So we're gonna give a check. And take. I gotta move my knight somewhere. I'll go here. That's a good move. I don't like the prospect of the queen getting inside. I really don't. Is there a way to trade the queens or take away squares? The queen wants to go here. Mm. I don't like that. Do you know what piece is giving me a fit? It's this bishop, so let's get rid of the bishop. If the queen goes here, I'm going to offer the queens. I'm going to offer a queen trade. Yeah. Let's trade the queens. It means I'm going to be giving up one of my pawns, but I'll still be up a pawn. And I have to have some faith in my technique. That's no fun. Okay, let's get rid of that. I don't want to lose... Yeah. You can have one pawn, but you can't have both. I'll go here. Well, let's put my queen behind the pawn. And I'm going to start pushing. Let's make some space for the king. Yep. They're playing really well, by the way. Not making it easy to convert. Well, that's a move I like to see. Let me go check. And I'm looking to get him from the back. Ah, check. Check. Got him from behind. The long diagonal check. And is that checkmate? Can the king go anywhere? Nope. Checkmate. Played well. They played well. They put up some defense. Paul Gambinson, thanks to the brand new Prime and for connecting your accounts. Welcome to the channel. They played very well. Hey Caspian, hey Chicago Jayhawk, hey Smucker, happy Mother's Day to everyone. To the mothers in the chat and to just all the ladies in general. Hey Chaudon, how you doing? So far, we have a squeaky clean record with the Karo. Let's go knight c6. Now we develop this bishop. Knight e6, then bishop d6, or knight f6. Get both bishops out if you can. And this is a move that I like to play when we have the semi-open C file, rook C8. That way, if they decide to take... Well, first of all... Wait a second. I missed the pawn. Is this not a free pawn? Buddy. I can't be missing freebies like that. How many of my opponents have hung the C2 pawn? It's too many to count. Now I'm going to go A6 and kick your bishop out. Yes, now we have the bishop pair, we're up a pawn, and their king's a bit weak. Already. Already very promising. All 
I don't see it, Chief. So let's just develop this knight. And get castled. What's this pawn doing over here? That doesn't help. We can go knight here, we can go knight here, we can go knight here, all save squares. But I'm gonna be attracted to knight h5, trading off that bishop and probably picking up an additional pawn right here. Just taking advantage of uh, taking advantage of the weaknesses in White's kingside setup. I'm gonna eat that. And then take this. That's clean pawn again. No dirty pawns. No, uh, there's no emissions. When you take these pawns, it's good for the environment. Well, you're attacking my bishop, so let me move out of the way and attack your queen. Toucan Tango. Maybe my bishop's going to go here and hit the queen some more. But I'm going to play b5, b4 first, because I have a feeling they're going to play f5 for me. I just have that feeling. Push. Hmm. Well, now they can actually play f5, because they have enough defenders. So let's go g6, give our king some space. Maybe I'll fee and cut on my bishop. I don't want to trade over here because the knights are pretty clumsy. I'd rather um I'd rather maximize. I'm gonna go queen e7. Develop my final rook to c8. Like this. I'm making sure this is covered. And this is a funny move. It is pinned, so I can't take it. But now that your knight's moved away from f5, I'm going to go bishop f5 myself. Um, uh, the queen is running out of real estate. That's where I wanted you to place the queen. Because I'm going to actually go bishop e4 and skewer. Take. I can't go rook c1, but I can go rook c2, pinning the knight and also hitting b2. This is a loose knight. The queen is... The queen's a bit overloaded. So I'm actually going to take on e2. The queen has to move, and now this knight is hanging. Yay. And let's just move the bishop back. Make sure our king is safe. Ooh, even better. By moving my king, I can go rook g and pin the queen. Takes. Takes. Check. Eat the pawn. And now, I believe that is checkmate. Good game. Uh, Swamp Lettuce, Binary Machine, Five Lives, thank you for the resubs. And GG, thank you for the brand new Prime. SN Chile, we got a Canuck here. All right. Carol Can time. We got the advanced variation, hey? I'll play bishop f5, that's what we've been practicing. Then we play e6, so this bishop joins. We haven't. Okay, this is new.
I'm gonna play knight e7, so in case white takes, I can take back with a knight. And I'm gonna bring this knight to d7. I'm making sure it's really well defended. And I like, this is a maneuver I like. Take on c4, now the d5 square is available for black's pieces. So I go knight b6, and I plant this knight on d5. And it uh, puts a stop to all of white's, you know, center pressure. The pawns are frozen. So I'm just going to castle now. And uh, we're good. We got both bishops out. And the center looks pretty well defended. Let's play a habits move. H6. It extends my diagonal. My bishop go gets longer. And it also gives my king some space. How about I try c5, challenging the center? If I can get rid of this pawn, then this pawn's going to be weaker and I'm going to have some more space. Let's go rook c8. Semi-open c-file on the way. Well... Taking that bishop is also pretty tempting. I can take either. If I take here, maybe they're going to recapture the pawn. But let's see what happens. It feels like open positions should favor me with the bishop pair. Let's take. Open positions should favor active bishops. And now let's go knight c4. Hitting this and uh, getting our rook more involved. Uh-oh. That's where my bishop is going to say something. Let's take that rook, right? We've seen a lot of players blunder this. Oh, that's a mouse slip. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. I was just trying to show how the bishop moves. We have new chess players in the chat. Okay. All right. No more talking. That's a, that's a rough blunder. I'm going to start with knight a3, pick up a pawn with some tactics. Terrible, hey? That's, yeah, that's annoying. I don't like my position. I have 14 seconds and I'm down a rook. And that's all from a mouse slip. Which really is annoying. Damn it. Attack. Check. Check. Oof, that was close. That was close. Desperate times. Desperate times. I blame Yasser. He distracted me. That was, uh, that was a good Carol Cannon until I mouse slipped. It was a very unfortunate mouse slip. <laughs> I meant to take. Latinum, thanks for the eight gifted subs. Thank you, Latinum. Polar Bear, thank you for the thousand bits. GG.
Diener Schnitzel, good luck. Oh, there, that's what I'm playing as black. C6 against everything. Well, Fianchetto or Dark Squared Bishop. And now, let's go E3. Bishop E2. And a quick castle. Perfect. Let's count. We have one attacker, two attackers, three attackers. They have one defender, two defenders, three attackers, two defenders. Go math. That's uh, going to be a free piece for me. And I got the F file to boot. Oh, wow. Instead of taking this knight, I think I'm going to be more attracted to taking this pawn and grabbing a rook or a queen. Scary looking move, but I don't see. They're missing their dark squared bishop. They're missing some, some pieces that they generously provided. Yeah. My next move might be just offering a queen trade. Want to trade queens? Let's find out. First, I'll kick away that knight. It doesn't have permission to be on my property. Okay, okay. That's a cute move. I'll take the knight, though. I'll take my chances. You didn't take the spawn. If you're not going to take it, I'm going to defend it. Uh, I could go bishop d4 and defend it. I could go queen d3. I could go rook f3. I could go rook f4. Actually, rook f4 looks good. My favorite is queen d4. Because outside of defending, I'm threatening to trade queens. If I trade the queens, I know I'm not going to get checkmated. I can trade the queens off. I don't have to worry about any sort of bishop h3 shenanigans. Just trade the queens. Queen e5, check. And then, uh, then black's counterplay should disappear. There we go. We have an open F file. That's a pretty common feature of the bird. And people forget about it. Gonna just take that bishop. Thank you, sir. GG. Hello, gory hole. My rook says hi. Hey, Swole. How you doing, sir? How are you doing? Just doing a speed run right now. Yasser's trolling in the chat. Mad King BC. Good luck. I'm going to grab the center in this one since, and now we're actually transposing to a uh, kind of a Sicilian. You're eyeballing my pawn. I'll defend. No freebies for you. That's just castle. Quick development. 
Gave away the bishop, but we have quick development. That's got to be worth something. Now queen e1, going to transfer that queen over to the king side in a moment. Sure, why not now? I want to see queenside castle. Because where is this knight going to go, if given the chance? If given the chance, where do we put our knight? Especially with the queen on c6. I see somewhere. Okay, you're not letting me. Let's move the queen out of the way. Fair. Now we don't have this fun move. Unfortunately. It's okay. There's other ways to attack. Let's try this. I'm castled, black's not. Now's a good time to put pressure. And they're closing the position down. Boo. Can I attack this knight? I can. Let me try this. I'm giving away my bishop for the knight and then playing knight d5. That's a strong knight. I can make it even stronger by playing pawn to c4. Yeah. Take that. They want, to, they want to probably trade. I don't mind that. I don't think I mind a trade. I'm going to let them trade. Take, oh, this helps me because it opens up the B file. That's why I'm taking the B pawn. So which piece do I, which pawn do I recapture with? Towards the center or away from the center? If I take this way, the E4 square is available. If I take this way, the C4 square is available. I'm going to take with, towards the center. And my knight is going to go on a journey to c4. But both of them are probably playable. But the journey, we're on a boat to c4 here. Yes, c4 looks like a healthy, healthy outpost. It's, and then we're going to gang up on the file. My queen's not doing much over here. So besides putting my rooks on the... I wanted this to be a real struggle. I don't want free rooks. Okay. I'm just putting my rooks on the only square possible. Okay. No pawns for you. I'm gonna move the rook all the way back. Notice the queen doesn't have any squares. The knight and rook have put the queen in jail. And once the queen is in jail, we can have fun. Now my queen is going to have to join the game. Uh, let's move the queen here. Maybe I'm going to push this pawn and go for checkmate. I like that. Push, push, push. And checkmate while the queen is offside. Yep, push. Push. Now this rook is going right here. We're pinning that. Maybe knight d6 is on the cards. I'm not I'm not pinning this because of the queen. I'm pinning it because I want checkmate. So I'm still going to take it. That's my idea. I want checkmate. On g7, sir. Yep, it's going to be hard. Going to be taking the rook or taking the king? We'll find out. Mad King has disconnected. Now, we have to make it a point that you guys are actually learning from this. If you're not learning, then this counts as bullying. And bullying's not good. So make sure you're actually learning something from this. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. 
I'm allowed to teach, I'm not allowed to bully. There's a trade-off. Smeller Keller Gaming, thank you for the prime. Yasser's learning? Okay, then we're good. We're 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 in the clear. We're in the clear. We have an exchange, Caro. Not too worried about that. I will pin their knight. They're going to pin me. I'm going to pin them. And, but I'm going to keep the pin. If you're going to kick my bishop out, you're going to have to weaken your king. Which is exactly what's happened. And now e6. Bishop d6. Get the rest of our pieces out. This is a good move. A little annoying. That knight is uh, just a very centralized piece hitting a lot of targets. So let me offer a trade. Can you trade your knight for my knight so that this bishop doesn't get bothered anymore? Good. Good, good, good. That's also okay. Because I'm going to take with the h pawn and at least I have the h file. But where can I castle? Here, I'm a little scared about the h-file. Here, my king's a little open. Maybe I'm not going to castle. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go rook b8. And my king might have to stay in the center. But I have an idea. I have a threat. Queen b4. Hitting b2. What you going to do when I come for you? Notice how solid this structure is in front of my king. That's a good move. I could take this, but after rook b1, I gotta move it back. There is a pawn right here that's now free because the king's blocking the rook. Let me grab that first. Check. Good. I'm up a pawn and the king is on, on the run. I'm going to put my queen on f4. That way I can go knight e5 next move. This pawn can't be captured because of the pin. Don't do it. So my king is in the middle... But I'm making the judgment call that it's safe. Because I don't see any pieces that can really harm the king right now. So. That's my judgment call. That, that I'm safe here. I'll even take. If we trade everything. Then I'm just going to be... Um, up a few pawns, right? So what if I take some more pawns? I still don't see any threats against the king. Looks good to me. A pawn is a pawn is a pawn. All right, I'm, I'm going to play a bit of a mean variation here. I'm going to go check. The king has to go here. I'm going to go queen here. Oh, no, my rook. My rook's hanging. Oh, gosh. Yay. Uh, respect resignation. If I take the queen, they take the rook. This is winning for me. They have a rook and a knight for the queen. The problem is, I'm up a gazillion pawns to boot. A queen's better than a rook and a knight, almost always. Add on five extra pawns, four extra pawns, and it's overkill. What was I setting up? I just wanted a checkmate. 
Queen H3 is the more aesthetic looking checkmate. Master J007, good luck from Mexico. Okay. Let's develop our bishop. And then we get our e6 move in. Get the other bishop involved. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to combine. We're playing c6, but I'm going to implement some stonewall ideas. And Amon is doing a stonewall speedrun coming out on YouTube. F5, going for the stonewall structure. But it's a good stonewall, because in the stonewall, your bishop's on c8. Here, my bishop's on h5, so I have an extra powerful stonewall. All the benefits. I might even rook lift next. Or I might start attacking with pawn g5 and get aggressive. How much more powerful is it? We're like three moves ahead. Enough to win the game. g5 next. And we're going to attack like barbarians. Push! My bishops are ready for the battle. My knight on e4 is super annoying as well. Clogging up white's position. Yeah, bishop on h5 means we have an additional attacker compared to usual. Okay. Let's bring the queen in. They're putting up some resistance. I'm going to move my queen here. I want to figure out how to open up the H file for maximum pain. Oh, that works. Because I believe I have two attackers on this pawn. So I win a pawn. Yay. King h8 next, rook g8. The g file is open, but because our g file is open, it means we can actually put a rook on the g file. So it might be counterintuitive, but the open g file favors black more than white. I'm going to take with the f pawn, so my f rook is involved. Oh. See? We have a better version. Thank you for the rook. And now king h8, so we can start using the g-file. Oh, I don't even need to use the g-file when you make moves like that. That's just a free knight, and I don't see anything better. Don't see anything better, but a free knight. It's going to work out. I did say I wanted to put my pieces on the g-file, so let's start. Maybe I can move this other rook to f8. <clears throat> and we're up a rook, so we should be looking to trade. Okay. I see that your knight's here, but it's not supported by any pieces. So how about I bring my knight in? All right, guys, black to play. Find a nice move here. Use your board vision. Prove to me you're getting better at chess. Double attack. Good job, Java Bandit. Queen e3, check. And we're hitting the knight. Good game, Master J. Good job, Yasser. APHS, thank you for the 22 months. Hey, Vizier. 
The Penny Packer from Sweden. Here we go. That's a quick G6. I'm going to grab the center then if you're going to give me the space. You want this pawn? You really want this pawn? Take it. Take it. I'm going to play d4, hit the queen. They always fall for it. That's the third time in this speed run that people invest all this time to take the pawn. And then the very next move, they just forget about it. Works. It's worked every single time so far. That's a you problem. That's not a me problem if you can't see that. If you're going to be greedy, you better be ready to face an attack. Okay, you're attacking my bishop, so I'm going to move my bishop. You're throwing a free pawn, I'm going to take a free pawn. Sure. You're going to attack my knight, I'm going to move my knight. Check. Thank you for the rook. Wow. You're playing real fast here. I'm intimidated. Not really. I see two pieces here. I see a pawn that can go to d5. Check. And now, let's just queenside castle to bring more pieces in, hey? My queen's being attacked. Unfortunately, I don't have checkmate. I'm close. I don't see it. But I have this pawn. I could have taken the knight. That would have been nicer. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right, yeah, sir. Should have taken the knight. Oh, no. How do I redeem myself? This would have been a good... Checkmate combination with bishop check. I have to make it up. I have to make it up to people. For sure. Let's offer a free knight to my opponent. Gesture of goodwill. Hee <laughs> hee. I made up for it. Offered some candy. Ong me, thanks for gifting us up to Skilius. Kamies, good luck. Develop the bishop. Bring the knight in. Oh, we might get another good stone wall. I'm setting up another stone wall if I'm given the chance. If. F5. Oh, stone wall is the F5, D5, E6 structure. And now let's just castle. Sure. I'll take that. I'll take that. I think that was a good move by them, but this still is an annoying pin. That's another good move. Hmm. Let me take with a knight so that I'm attacking the... Wait a second. Aha! I might have overlooked something. If I take the knight, they have a crazy knight takes d6 move. It's like absurd. Alright. Knight f6. Hopefully I'm defending everything that needs to be defended. He had some tricks. My opponent had some very 
dirty tricks that game. Here. Oh, I just blundered. <laughs> it could have taken with check. We're going to survive. Just some technical difficulties. Shh. It could have taken on h7. Ah, that's more like it. I wanted a queen trade. Sometimes that happens. You get attacked. But the queen trade is very refreshing because now I'm not going to get mated. Maybe I should have castled queenside, but this turned out okay. Just a couple scary moments. Once the queens are off, that's okay, but now we just trade everything. I'll tell you what messed me up this game. I'll show you afterwards. It was a nice combo. Now let's just bring the rook in and trade everything off. I want this pawn. Thank you. Give me the pawn. Let's activate our king. And now let's start pushing our pawns. Push him, baby. Push him. Push him. Push him. Sure. We won, but don't forget, there was a very tricky and interesting moment here. I wanted to play bishop takes f3. Complicated position, but knight takes d6 is a really, well, it's a winning move for white, which is nuts. Because if I take their queen, they play bishop takes h7 check. My king can't run to the queen side because of the knight. And as soon as I go here, I'm susceptible a to a draw. They can just move their bishop anywhere. So they could go check. Then my king goes here. And they can just repeat that if they want to draw. But let's say they want more than a draw. Then they go bishop f5 check. I still have to go here. And they go bishop takes e6 check. Now I can't go here. I can't go here, I got a block with the rook. And they take with the knight. Now they're threatening checkmate and they're threatening our queen. The house collapses. I would have been knocked out. Everything collapses here. And it's all forced too. And I don't know, maybe the 1100 would have seen it. So I took this way and braved the storm, including a moment here where they could have just taken here with check. And now just move their queen and being like, you know what, materials even, but my king is about to get evaporated. TBB93, thanks for the eight months. That was a close one. J.M. Smucker, good luck. So we got f4, knight f3, our usual setup. And I'm going to try my e3 and fianchetto this way. Like that. And then put this bishop on b5, pin. And now we got a quick castle in. Yep. What do we do to the queen? Transfer it over to the king side. You see what my queen and bishop are doing? See? 
That's how you do it. That's the second time today people have allowed this. And it works. You just put your pieces on good squares. And now my queen and bishop are coordinated on g7, the long diagonal. Checkmate. There we go. That's happened multiple times today. Hey, Smucker. GG. And we won a pawn, so Yasser's happy. Exactly. We won a pawn, and it was checkmate. Win win. Yes, yeah, sir. How long do you hang out with us? That's good, ADHD. You should also get some merch. Yeah, sir. I wanted to. I'm going to Norway tomorrow, but yeah, we got to catch up. I'm going to be in Europe in July. And if you're in Europe at that time, I'm looking to potentially invade your territory. You got to go, I understand. You're covering a pretty exciting tournament. Hello, Skeg. There are similarities with this and the Larson. There's sometimes you can combine it. So hopefully you, you take bits and pieces from this and apply it to how you play. Okay, I'll make another coffee. If Yasser's here for 30 more minutes, I'll go for 100 more rating points. Or even 20 minutes. Yasser, there's hockey right now. You should be watching. The Vegas Golden Knights versus the Edmonton Oilers. Big match. You can't stay, you're afraid. You should be afraid. And you should also stay. You should be very afraid. sec A path to chosen wisdom. Good night. Yes, yeah, sir. Hello, Dan. Am I leaving? I'm not leaving. I can leave if you want. I was going to do 100 more rating points. But uh, if people want me to leave, I can, I can also leave. Just depends if people are enjoying. Hopefully, Java Bandit can start playing the Caro. 100 more? Okay, Latinum.
Hello to Aiden and CT Wilkinson. Some Aussies here. Just, uh, I'm leaving tomorrow, so just figured I'd stream a little bit. I might stream tomorrow as well. You guys may or may not miss me, but I'll be in Norway. Did I get a haircut? Um, like, uh, 10 days ago, yeah. Looking sharp, thank you. Thank you, it's the edibles. You know how you can really show that you miss me? Subscribing with Amazon Prime. Oof, that really is a symbol of love. What's in Norway again? Just some buddies. There's ladies and boys. Hey, Brenzen, you have been subbed for a long time. What's that noise? Great question, Boris Broski. I'm stirring a chest for a mug that has espresso, freshly poured espresso. Vegas is up? Okay. Need to order a chest bro mug? We, we have them available. Um, if you go to our store, just send us an email. Do you have a mug, Latinum Blonde? How many signboards? We we have enough. Like we don't have a ton, but and you're also uh like yeah. We got like a dozen maybe. The mugs are good, they're useful. There's no best way for opening Zudidit's understanding and it's the type of position that you tend to succeed in so the best way to play against the caro is whatever lines give you positions that you feel comfortable in hannah thank you for the raid i believe um we might be uh seeing you at twitchcon eu if you'll be attending some of the Chess bra personnel will, will be there in person, causing problems in Paris. Yes. You can use it for other beverages, Latin and Blonde, absolutely. No, we're doing Paris, London, Barcelona, Berlin. We're doing meetups. Yeah, the board we have right now is not our um, premium board. We don't have one right now, but it, wouldn't, it won't be, but it's, it's functional.
It's a board that you might spill some drinks on. All right, let's continue. Thank you for the raid. We're just doing a speed run. Carol Cannon, the bird's opening. Next level. We're 1,200 plus now. E4. If I, sorry, E6. If I go E4, they might go D5. It'll kind of look like a French. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens then. No, they're not doing it. Then I'll play E5. I'll grab the space. Let's try it one more time. Do you think they're going to hang this knight? I'm going to gambit it. When will people start defending the knight? There you go. First person to successfully take my pawn and defend. Now you must pay. Now I must hurt you. Can you go knight f8? Good. I'd say for the cost of a pawn, we grabbed quite a bit of compensation. We got the f-file. We're going to make the f-file worth it. Develop the rest of the pieces. This does not look like a bird because they took our pawn. But we have our own plans. And when you're attacking, you don't always want to trade. So I'm going to tuck my bishop in, play a3, kick away the knight, and start attacking. We're going to attack on the f-file. Yeah, buddy. Why don't you trade knights? Sure. See what the open F file gives you? Excellent. Checkmate. Nobody has successfully taken one of our pawns without losing the opening. There we go. That was a quickie. Let's try that again. We'll try the B3 setup. When they play knight e6, when I see that, I often do like to develop the bishop to b5. So I'll go e3. And I'm thinking about bishop b5 for sure. But maybe I should go h3 since they're pinning me. And ask, are you going to trade? You're not going to trade. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll go bishop b5. That's a pin. So let's add some more pressure to the pin. That's a good move. This is hanging. And it defends that. So let's castle and make sure this is taken care of. H5 is a little slow, because if I go C4, this bishop might get booted off the diagonal. Right? D3? I'm trying to figure out how to add some more pressure to this pin, but it's possible I should just uh, take when I have the chance. Let me think about it. It all looks good to me. I'm going to go B4, though. I want to make space so my queen can go to A4 and I get an additional attacker. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see that. Unfortunately. But I'm going to let you do it. I have my own plans. You can try to checkmate you, and I'm going to. We're both going to go for checkmate. Check. 
Check. And now my queen is defending this. So it's not checkmate. I'm gonna go knight b5. Threatening checkmate here. I had some other good moves too. Decided to go for this line. Because rook d7. What's the problem with rook d7? This is what I was counting on. Takes away the king's escape square. Well done. Well done. There we go. We'll continue with c6. I've had really good position so far with uh, with c6. No complaints. Hello, Joe. Let's just keep the pin. And now we're going to try one of those stone wall moves. You really should just develop your pieces here. That would be the best. But I'm going to get a little ambitious and play f5 just to prevent my opponent from playing pawn to e4. Now I play bishop d6. But this is a way of gaining a bit more space. And I'm kind of getting the bird set up, but with black. Yeah. Hope you're watching the Stonewall videos on YouTube. Now I can castle. Yay. If I take this way, then the bishop can snap my pawn off. So I'll capture with the C pawn. Keep this safe and solid. Now we put our knight on E4. The dream is that white takes. We take with the F pawn. Then we have a pin on the F file, our rooks on the F file, everything converges on the F file. We have to, you have to bait your opponent, you have to give them the option to, to take here. We, have, we need cooperation to activate that rook. Sometimes you just have to ask, just be polite. Yeah, oh, there we go. This move is a desperate move because whenever you're pushing your pawns in front of your king like that, I mean, you're asking for trouble. I'm trying to understand why I can't just win a pawn. I have two defenders, there's only one, sorry, two attackers, there's only one defender. So what does this really change in the grand scheme of things? When I take here, you're bringing in a knight to reinforce this knight. But I actually have a bishop here. So what I can do with this bishop is eliminate that knight, and then you have no more defenders. Right? So we're going to take that off. Check. I can take with a rook. Or the bishop, but the bishop is more forcing because it's with tempo hitting the queen. And by removing the knight, my queen can now slide over to the h4 square without any opposition. So check. Yep. That's it. There's checkmate. Next move. But when you pin the knight, people get desperate. They sometimes concede. Moves like g4, a concession. It comes from a good position, though. DV, DV, good luck. Bit of a London setup, and I'm playing similar myself. 
I'll tuck my bishop in. If you want to trade, I'll take with the h pawn. Okay. We don't mind the trade. The Carol can is a solid opening. Your strength comes from your sound pawn structure. Let's develop this bishop. Then our knight can develop. Because how else does our knight... I mean, there's only two squares. H6 or E7. I always take with the H pawn so we can use this. And now knight E7. Oh, our bishop's being attacked. Just one square to go. This knight wants to go right on F5. That's an active square, not blocking pieces. Looks good, I think. Yeah, knight f5. So I don't want to trade because I'm just correcting white structure. They're going to take with the pawn and... It's not bad to even do that, but it kind of fixes things. I'd rather them take on f5 themselves. Hmm. Let me try a move first. Go queen e7, preparing to queenside castle. If white takes on f5, then I can take towards the center. And that feels like I've improved my position. Okay. Grabbing a lot of space there, huh? Let me go f6. Let's challenge this pawn. If white's not going to castle, I'm going to start playing a little more aggressively and uh, building some space in the center. That's right. Pink Floyd. Yep. Let's push. Now we have a very nice pawn structure. Bishop only has one square, but that square works. But I really like this pawn structure, but I can't lose this pawn. So let's go queen h7. That way I'm looking at h2, but I'm also... Dude! I'm trying to teach here. You can't hang your queen like that. Oh, man. Well, there's the queen. We were about to attack before that and use those pawns. Well, let's swing this rook over to the open G file. I'm going to try a move here. I'm up a queen, so at that point I can give back material and still be ahead. So let's trade down. Rook for bishop. Excellent. By taking this way, my bishop here is able to capture on e3 check. And now I'm going to ask the good audience here, black to play, and finish off the game. Your move, as black, start thinking. Well done, well done, that's right. We're taking away the one escape square over here. Rook takes h2 check. And now I'm just going to go queen h7. Very thematic checkmate. Puzzle rush special, that's right. By the way, if you are thinking about uh, grabbing a membership on chess.com or making a new account, use our code. It's the same price, but send some support towards us. We get some affiliate revenue. The command is exclamation mark premium. If you're buying a membership for your girlfriend, use our link. Might as well. And we very much appreciate it. 
Alrighty. So far, smooth. It's Mother's Day, yeah. Hanif, good luck. Let's go C6. The hillbilly attack, we've had no issues with this variation. I don't know why people play it, actually, because we're just getting good positions, but uh, that's okay. Let's develop the bishop. This, isn't this going to be an isolated pawn? So I'm going to take. And what I'm wondering, really, is why isn't this a hanging pawn? White's playing really aggressively, but as far as I can tell, black's ahead in development here. And up a pawn. I have two pieces developed. You have one. And I just grabbed your pawn. Yeah. I'm going to be really boring here, and I'm going to offer the queens. Let's trade queens. I'm up a pawn. That's enough to go to an endgame and just... No? You don't want to trade? I respect that, actually. I could take here and get really, really, really greedy. But I'll play e6 first. Just want to catch up with some of my other pieces. Check. And now let's move our queen out of the way. This way, our queen is still doing something, but it's on a safe square. Whoa! Excuse me, sir. What happens if we trade everything? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Did you calculate? I guess not. Check. You got only one move here. Your queen has to block because you can't go to b1. Well, that was a quick uh, knockout, hey? That was a quick knockout. Quick knockout. Doesn't always happen with a Karo, but... Uh, they left their king open. I wouldn't be surprised if my opponent... Oh, that's a resignation. Queen c2, and then queen takes c2's mate. But just a bit of a over-aggressive opening, probably. I was just up a pawn right off the bat, right? And spread some. That's a Twitch Prime. Pink Floyd, 100 bits. John Curtis, thank you for the raid, John. Have a good one. I didn't go for the rook. I should have gone for the rook. I just decided to be nice, and then I changed my mind. I should have done this. I just... I had a moment of weakness where I was like, let's not take everything. And then I changed my mind a couple moves later. E.T. Karthik. Good luck. All right. What setup are we going to opt for? D6. I'm going to go E4. Probably go for a quick bishop development. So you have taken my pawn. But I'm hoping, kind of like the King's Gambit, that I'm going to win my pawn back, which I have, and have a nice center as the end result. Okay, now I don't want to give away my bishop. Now I like... like this position, just we just have a center and an, oh, lots of potential. This isn't very much like a bird, except that we do have the open F file. So I'm looking for ways. Let me go H3 first, just as a safe move. Takes away any G4 ideas. And now Queen C2. I'm not hiding my threat. I want to go E5 and then open up the diagonal and hit H7. I have a very secure center. Okay, that's a move. But I'm going to play bishop h6. Just to annoy you a bit. Pretty solid from black. How can I use the f-file? Well, let's double up on the f-file. That's a good way to start. 
Double up. We have some hidden ideas. That's a good move. I can't go knight g5 no more. Let me go knight h2. See if this works. Yeah. They're defending passively. Knight g3 is an annoying move, but I don't know how to stop it. Now that black has played g6, the dark squares are weak around the king. They've prevented my idea hitting h7. The dark squares are weak, which means I'm going to travel on the dark squares and uh, see what I can make of it. Yeah, let's go queen right over to h6. It looks safe, and I can follow up with knight g5, hopefully, right? Hopefully, we can play knight g5 now, and what's black going to do? Our rooks are doing something, our queen's doing something, our knight's doing something. I'm just threatening checkmate. And it's really nice to have these pawns taking away some of black's uh, defensive options. Could take the knight, but checkmate does win the game. We'll keep it up. Good game. One sec. Is that Hardik Pandya? Yes, it is Prometheus. Good eye. Step to me. Good luck. All righty. We have our usual setup. I see knight c6 early, so I'm going to play e3 and develop the bishop to b5. They're pre-moving. I'm going to fianchetto, sure. I have the setup we've been uh, trusting for a while now. And now I'll just castle. I'm going to give away the bishop for the knight because it messes up the pawns. And now queen e1, queen g3. We've tried this before, the setup. Queen and bishop, okay. This time the guy, my opponent, did catch the threat. You know, they didn't notice the mating threat. Thought I was going to get another chance. It's okay. Let's go d3, take away this option. And now knight e5. That's why I like to double the pawns. Let's grab the pawn. My opponent's like pre-moving for some reason. Let's move the knight here. Or just up a pawn. Bring the other knights, other knight in. Yep. This is just a good knight. I might even go knight g5 next move and target f7. Queen h4 is another idea. Yeah, let's... This is a funny looking move. Let's go queen h4 because I want to introduce some threats against the king. Okay. You know what time it is? G4 time. Got to bust open that king. Although they do have quite a few pieces around.
I'm going to keep going. All the way. Oof. Do we take with a pawn, the knight, or the queen? Mm, I'm going to take with a pawn because we want to open up the F file. We've been practicing that. And now I'm going to discreetly develop my rooks on the F file and prepare an assault on the F7 pawn. Now, once this move was played, I did notice I might have bishop a3, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load the pieces up first. Now bishop a3. I got every single major piece of blocks on the same diagonal, which is nice. Uh, d4 looks like a desperate move to open up your bishop. I'm going to say no, and I'm going to play e4, shut this bishop down. This rook is still hanging. Let's try knight c4. I want to win a full rook. Knight e5. Now, peekaboo. My pieces are all attacking on f7. I built it up over the last few moves, but now... Now everything is hanging at once. Takes. 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 And all the pieces disappeared. Yeah. You want to uh, trade queens? Oh, sure. Takes. Let's bring the king up and rush this pawn down the board. Push. Oh, that's cute. You want to trade? Be my guest. Push. I'm just going to push and checkmate my opponent with the pawn. Doesn't matter what they do, they're going to be checkmated by my pawn this game. Good game. Good game. One sec. What's the score in the Vegas game? Four to two, right? I have Vegas to win by three. We'll see. Carol can time. Exchange is really common. E5. Let's just pin the knight. And then develop. Okay. Well, here, C5, just to put some pressure on the center and develop our knight to C6. To Carol can we try to destabilize white center? Mm. 
Let me go knight h6. Maybe bring the knight to f5. I gotta move my knight somewhere. Yeah, f5. Oh, that's an annoying pin. Let's add some defense to that. And then let's go... The, I see something with the queen over here. Something looks loose. If I go a6 and you move your bishop back, I might be winning a pawn. Ah, tricky opponent. Knight takes d4, queen a4 check, knight moves back, queen takes g4. So my, my bishop here is randomly loose. Okay, let me try a different way. I'll go knight b4. I should have probably gone knight takes c5. That would have been the right move. But uh, I wanted to try something different. Knight e5 would have worked, but I thought they might blunder more. I'm going to win this bishop and then probably go bishop f5. My queen is going to have some pressure. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Let's just get ready to castle then. It's a good move. It's a good move. And then bishop f5. Hopefully they forget their bishop's hanging. They're playing well so far. But this is a... I'm happy with the opening because... I just have the bishop pair and it's open position. So open position, having the two bishops, especially this light squared bishop is a big asset. Bishop here. Now we can just start activating our pieces. Rook c2, rook c8, maybe bishop b4. But this, this diagonal just extends, not going anywhere. And if you offer to trade rooks, I can take, and then your rook hangs on b1. So what if I go bishop b4? Just keep harassing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to start bugging this knight. Oh, okay. If you want to trade and give up the exchange, be my guest. Yeah. Let's get rid of this knight. Offer the queens. I offered the queens. They wasn't accepted. Had to take their the queen. But up until then, the defense was good. And now we're going to take this. And take this. And take that. And it's checkmate on h1. Good game.
Jude White. Jude White, thanks for the 20 months tier three as well. Thank you. Go tier threes. We got 35 more points. Let's go. Banana, 56. Good luck. Let me finish my coffee. Then I'll be at peak performance. We're developing that bishop. E3, bishop E. The knight's not on C6, right? So I'm going bishop E2. Black's playing a, what looks to be a good setup. Let's go knight e5. Try to open up our uh, f file. Oh! Now I can go bishop b5. Isn't that a pawn for me? I think it is, sir. And let me just move right back. I just, you know. So this is an interesting choice. Do I take with a pawn to open up the F file, or do I take with a bishop, which keeps the pawn structure, you know, clean? They're both good options. They're both good options, but we're going to open the file. We're going to open the file. That's the bird. Open the F file. Maybe they go knight g4 and they lose their knight. It gets trapped. But I, I would... Probably take with a bishop in many cases as well. But we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be thematic here. D3, take away some of these squares. And now let's develop our final piece. Oh, they're, they wanna open up the file too? Be my guest. Hello, sir. My bishop wants to say hi. Thank you. Bet you didn't see that. And now let's just bring my rooks in. What if I go... Check. I guess this is defended. Eh. I'll bring my knight in. Let's remove this bishop with our knight instead of the rook. I could take this pawn, but I want to get rid of this pesky bishop. There's... I'll grab that pawn. Thank you, sir. Hitting this, threatening this. Threatening this, threatening that, this, that, this, that, check, check. All right, we're up a lot of material. I'm going to go rook f2. I like to do this so I can double the rooks on the f file. Hopefully that makes sense. If I can double up the rooks, I might even go rook f8. Let's give a check. Double the rooks. And we want to go rook f8 next. Just trading things off. Sometimes you don't even have to trade things off because they're provided for you. Instead of trading, I get something for free. Thanks for the bishop. Check. Uh, 
No. Check. Check. Let's give a few checks. Check. Check. Just going for checkmate here. Just don't mind me. Could have taken the knight as well. Figured, just go for a click. And they stopped it. They stopped it. Well done. Let's let's attack the queen. There we go. Now we got the checkmate we were hoping for. Queen b5, the pawn defends, the king can't move. Good game. GG banana. Thank you, Extincture, for the Twitch Prime. Thanks for supporting our channel. CD Hagen from Norway. I'm going to Norway tomorrow. Good timing. C6, D5, develop the bishop, then put the pawn on E6. Aha, you're attacking. You're attacking me right off the bat. I think I'll move out of the way then. That's okay. Ooh, it's like the bird weakening the diagonal. I think you're making some weaknesses around your king. Now I'm going to go here. And h5. Because I haven't castled, I still have the option of, of attacking a little bit here. You know? Like, what if I just go here right off the bat? Queen h4, see what happens. And take the pawn. So my queen's defended. Yes. Shall I eat this pawn? Yes, I will. Whenever, I mean, this is just a very reliable, solid structure, and... Every time we've had endgames, we've just performed pretty well. Because it's hard for white to cause problems. Go here. I could grab another pawn. Is that too greedy? It feels like it might be greedy, but I'm very tempted to grab a second pawn. But we'll just queenside castle and put the rook behind. A rook here and put the rooks on the h file. That can't be bad, can it? No. No way. No way. It's a frustrating opening to play against because there aren't natural targets for white. Like in my position, what does white attack? The pawns, the pawns are all defending each other. I'm happy to give up a rook for two pieces. And in addition, I got two pieces for the rook. I'm actually hitting this knight. Let's see if they see that. I have a very useful rook. Well done. But there's a problem with this move. Can you spot it? Every time a pawn pushes up, it weakens the square. D3 to D4 relinquishes control of the E4 square. What that means is E4 is now available for my pieces. And I'm going to just put my bishop on E4 and say check. Now you're... Uh, in a tough spot. Your king moves, this bishop falls. Okay. I'll take that. Thank you. And I think I'm just going to go for checkmate. I'm going to hang my bishop. 
Because I think if I take here, this is unstoppable checkmate on h1. I think this is what we call a checkmating net. Rook h1 is checkmate, no matter what you do. Am I right? F2, uh, G2, yep. There we go. Good game. Soul Trader, welcome back, buddy. Thanks for the 35. Just doing a speed run. Jay Watts, good luck. Good luck. See if you can crack crack our C6 system. Okay. I don't mind taking this way. I'm going to use the F file. Let's develop the rest of our pieces. You want my pawn. I'm not going to give you the pawn. I'm going to support it. Bring this knight in. And are we going to fianchetto our bishop? Sure. Let's try to fianchetto the bishop. Then our king is very safe. My next goal is to put that knight on e4. But first, I have to unpin the knight. So I played queen a5, hitting the pawn and unpinning. Now I go knight e4, and that's an annoying move. Because you can't take. So I take back with the pawn and I fork your pieces. But if you don't take, I'm threatening knight f2. So you have to be pretty careful here. Okay, that's a good move. Gonna go rook e8, hoping for this. I was considering queen takes c3, but I'll show that another mo time. You can make a case for either of those pawns. But uh, it's time for me to attack White's position. Let's start pushing my pawns. I don't know if my position's that good. We'll see. Good move. I like it. My knight was being attacked, so I'm going to go rookie six. My follow-up, I'm going to go a5. Then I'm going to go a4. Or you're gonna give me a free pawn. That works. So knight takes pawn. Sorry, knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight. Queen takes, and I think I just win a freebie. Right? Let's calculate. Yep, looks good. And it also opens up the bishop. So now when I play b4, this bishop's gonna be joining the party. Let's strike. I thought about playing h5 first, but I have a feeling my attack for sure has to be faster. Let's take. Yeah, I mean. Hopefully, hopefully it is. Maybe I move my queen next move, threaten checkmate. How about this? Throw all the pieces in. That's a good move. But I'm going to continue to attack. Let's push the A-pawn. Aha. Well, I better move my rook. Hey, stop it. You stop it. Stop tickling me. Okay. Let's move the queen here. This way, this queen has to stay guarding the mating square.
and I'm preparing to play a4, undermining the position. The queen can't go here, remember, because of checkmate. This, this guy likes tickling me. I, uh... I don't like the t tickles very much. I'm gonna take this first. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take this check. And now, now we're gonna play the checkmate. We just wanted to wait a bit. Good game. NSR, good luck, sir. There's a knight on c6, so I'm going to play e4 and maybe pin the knight if I get the chance. play a bit of a, an aggressive line. Oh, this helps. This helps. I'll go knight d5. Hmm. I'll just go d3. My goal is to open up the f file. I'm still hoping to achieve that an open app file. Let's take here. Let's take here. And let's go knight g5. We're castled, black's not, time to attack. Ooh. That's a funny looking move. E6 is my first instinct. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with it. On to e6, and then knight f7. That looks friggin' annoying for a move. You can't even take this because of rook e1. Let's go c4 then. Let's kick away that knight. But I'm preventing black from castling. Um... I'll go rookie one. Just to ensure that that king is never castling. Just make sure you're never going to castle, you're never going to find safety. Bishop f4, so if you go knight d6, I can take. Sure, I'll take it. My knight's staying here. I'm gonna go queen here hoping for this. Time to bring the queen in. My knight's doing something, my rook's doing something, my pawn's doing something. And now, I'm threatening something. Oh, they stopped it, that sucks. D4. Can they go B6? Check. Connect five, I win. Yeah, they listen to me. GG. That's kind of rough, eh? Oof. Yeah, it wasn't too nice there. But we had a good bird opening. Good light. Uh, 
almost said I said I said a good luck, I said good light. Like Bud Light and Good Luck combined. Alrighty. Here we go. Final game for 1300. Ooh, we got a gambit. I'm ready. Show me what you got. Oof. The cheese. Yeah, I'm going to take that queen. I respect the attempt. But I'm not trigger happy. I respect the energy. Let's go d4. Oh, I like this guy. Giving me all the space in the world, hey? I'm going to use that and develop as much as possible. Castle. F files open. So let's give a check. Take away their castling ability. And then we move the bishop back. So you can't castle. And I have another check waiting. But I'm not. I'm not going to take the rook. I'm going to play a very solid move. I like my position too much. Let's try queen h5. I have a move I'd really like to play. It'll make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And my opponent graciously has allowed it to happen. White to play here. Knight d6 double check. King has to go to d8. Queen e8 check. Rook takes e8. And we're going to hit 1300 with a nice touch. This queen on h5 is going to go right here, forcing the rook to capture, because the, the knight f7. Good game. 1300 and a smothered mate. There we go. Tasty, tasty. Ending on a high note. Yeah, there we go. We had some nice bird wins today. Thirteen oh one bits from Latinum Blonde. Thank you, Latinum. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you, Pink Floyd, for the hundred bits. A good end to the session. How do you prime subscribe? Great question. There should be a button on your screen if you're on desktop, but link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. There's a link in the chat, and you should have a free sub every month. Exclamation mark Prime. But I'm doing two speedruns at once. With black, we're playing C6 versus everything. With white, we're playing the birds opening. Uh, Soul Trader, I don't have sweatpants right now, but we're going to restock them. Yes. But it is a good time to subscribe. There's going to be a stream tomorrow and many more streams this month. What is my real rating? It depends what clothes I put on. Hey, Lolly. Long time no see. We're listening to some drum and bass, trying out some new openings. If I'm 1300 now, I might try to sneak in a stream tomorrow where I get to 1600. We'll see. Will I stream with Magnus? We'll also see. TBD. No, I don't, I don't play tournaments in the US or Canada. 
Thank you, Raven's Murder. Hey, Monad, Monad Linux. Moj is going to Norway, yes. I don't know, Dead Rooster. I'm flying tomorrow night, so it depends on packing and some other things I have to prepare. But this, this was solid. Solid sesh. Thanks for watching, Ralph. What's my trip for? I don't know. You reached 1863 with this repertoire. Wow. That's higher rated than I am. So you're doing a great job, Joshi. All righty. We got a nice rate at the start of the stream from Alexandra. I'll throw out a raid to the chess category. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Askelius, thanks for hanging out. See you guys tomorrow. Make sure to check out the YouTube. We have full episodes coming out, also some other content. Join the Discord. Check out our partners, chess.com, underdog. Yeah, sub to YouTube, the usual. See you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Ciao for now. And follow our Twitch channel. You click the follow button, it lets you know when we go live. So hope to see some familiar names tomorrow.